Hi, my name is Zach Fisher, and welcome to another episode of the, the, the DCP study sessions that I've got going on here. Today, I will be talking about memory. This isn't actually as big of a topic on uh, DCP as I think CPU is and storage is, but nonetheless, it will come up and you'll probably get hit on a couple of questions. The most important things, and if you haven't seen the CPU, CPU episode that I put forward, please look at that before you look at this. But the most important thing here is to understand the difference between limits, reservations, and shares. So I hope you can see this all right, but limit, it's kind of like a speed limit. It's the most memory that your virtual machine can possibly utilize. So um, this is, these are important to limit the amount of um, memory a hungry, hungry VM might be uh, trying to utilize. The next one here is reservation. This is the amount of memory that uh, storage AVM is guaranteed. It reserves that amount of memory and no one else can take it, no matter what, even if the VM is powered off. So the um, reservation is guaranteed to that virtual machine. Now, the third one here is the share. And this is just a proportion. So this is a proportion of um, memory that, that your VM is gonna get. So this is important to read and reread your questions on this because maybe they're asking you something that you don't exactly um, fully understand with regards to um, reservations and shares and limits. Now, it is also important to note that the reason that we're doing this whole memory, or the, one of the big important things to note about memory is that you can allocate more memory than is physically available. There's more virtual, you can put more virtual memory than there is physical, kind of like you can put more um, virtually provisioned space on a data store than there's physically available. And this is this is great because you know you can utilize your your machines even even better and um a couple of other things to note here that you might see on your tcp is um you have to understand the way that virtual machines are starting up and the way that a VM is going to start up is it will need, if, if there's like a 32 gigabyte um, VM and it, and it says that it needs 32 gigs of memory, it might not always need 32 gigs of memory, but um, while starting up, it's either going to need 32 gigs of reserved memory because, or um, 30 gigs of disk space and two gigs of reserved memory or any kind of um, um, multiplication like that. Four gigs of reserved memory, 28 gigs of disk space, something like that because the, um, the, you're going to need um, persistent, persistent uh, memory in order to power up the machine. So if you're trying to power on a machine and it says that there's not enough disk space, yet you see that there actually is enough disk, there is extra disk space, but um, not quite enough as the, diff as the amount of RAM that you need, then that, ans that answer is definitely going to be something along the lines of, um, that answer is going to be definitely somewhere along the lines of you know reserving a certain amount of disks or of, of memory for that virtual machine. 
that's all I've got for memory as far as studying. And I put together a few slides. Um, I'm not sure if just for studying you need to really see them, but if I get any more information around like if memory ballooning or memory swapping or any of those types of methods, which are pretty cool and ingenious methods that VMware uses to um, consolidate virtual machine memory. Um, if I see any of that being tossed around as possible subjects on the exam, then, um, then I might make another video here. But right now, just make sure you know limits, reservations, and shares. You need to understand um, mem size is um, an error that is uh, is regarding not having enough memory to upgrade from a previous version of VMware. You need to understand that during starting up, you may need to uh, reserve a certain amount of memory. And you need to understand that that you can allocate more um, memory than you have physically available. That's all for the memory section of this studying. Thanks for listening. If, they, if you found this valuable, please like, comment, subscribe, um, and I will continue to put these out for anybody who's interested in, in studying for their DCD. Thanks.